The Life Cycle of Toxoplasma gondii, Part 1 Toxoplasmosis can be transmitted orally, by blood transfusion, organ transplants, or from the mother to the fetus. When transmitted from the mother to the fetus, via the placenta, toxoplasma can cause extensive neurologic damage and even the death of the infant. Toxoplasma is infective to all warm-blooded animals. That includes birds and mammals. However, since the sexual reproduction of the parasite occurs only in felines, they are considered the definitive hosts. This mouse is infected with toxoplasma cysts. On preying it, the cat will also become infected. The infective parasites are inside the tissue cysts, present mainly in the muscles and brain of the animal. Usually, the cats get toxoplasma at an early age. Only once, after the first infection, the sexual cycle of the parasite takes place, resulting in the production of oocysts. As the tissues of the mouse are digested, so will be the cyst wall, liberating hundreds of bradyzoite forms that reside inside each tissue cyst. Once free in the digestive tube of the cat, the bradyzoites will penetrate epithelial cells of the intestine, especially in the terminal segment of the small intestine, the ileum. The intestinal walls are pleated, forming villi. Underneath these villi pass blood vessels and nervous terminals. The apical portion of the intestinal epithelial cells have microvilli. This not only enhances the area of nutrient absorption, but also favors the invasion of the bradyzoites. Each bradyzoite will settle inside a perzatophorus vacuole and start to divide by schizogony. In this method of division, many nuclear divisions take place, and in the end, the cytoplasm and organelles are equally distributed among the daughter cells, called merozoites. The merozoites leave the host cell and invade new ones, repeating the process. After several schizogonic cycles, gametogenesis takes place. Male gametes are called microgametes, and are produced by schizogony, but follow a different pathway, resulting in deflagellated cells. Fertilization occurs when the microgamete fuses with a female macrogamete. Each macrogamete is differentiated from a single merozoite. It is not known if micro and macro gametes are formed and meet in the same host cell, as shown here, or if they are produced in different cells and the micro gamete swims to find a macro gamete. The fact is that a huge number of oocysts is liberated during a short period of time. Immature oocysts are eliminated in the cat feces. Once in the outside, these oocysts will mature and become very infective. People and animals can be contaminated by consuming raw vegetables of a garden or water sources contaminated with oocysts.